welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at another odd project so i did the first odd project episode with the uefi uh, game emulator and you, you can check that out later i'll leave it in the description down below but in this one we'll take a look at text-based browser uh, most text-based browser that i've seen that run on the linux terminal uh, render just the ht uh, the html part and leave out everything else this one uh, handles things a bit differently as it, it actually renders everything including css images and even videos so we'll see how that goes and how all of that works because uh, it also does audio output uh, and amongst other things so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look so it's called browse h browse sh Browse sh or how are you want to pronounce it so it's b r o w uh, and sh uh, that's the that's the program so it's open source i leave the link uh, to their website down below you can check them out on github as well again open source project uh, really great uh, and let's go ahead so brow sh now as you can already read on the screen it works on a firefox backend and this is how a web page looks this is the standard google.com web page and you can actually interact with your mouse and uh, type everything so the way images work uh, or any anything color kind of works is this each like a character block that the black one you can see here which is also part of your terminal is actually divided into two blocks and with a separate color yeah anyway so uh, each of the text block is actually uh, changed into some uh, divided into two parts and then colored those two parts are colored and you get a fairly good resolution uh, also you get square pixels i mean yeah the resolution isn't good but it's it's it, it looks very retro and uh, actually very interesting so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the websites uh, so you have hotkeys you can even use a cursor i'm just sticking the hotkeys right now so control l puts the focus on our um, url bar and from there we can go into let's say my website so keep till it hurts dot com and that should open up uh, again yes a, a whole lot of things aren't rendered so you can see the background image is very blurred uh, there it is and um, yeah and if i if i want to go to my blog uh, blog i usually have uh, the, the three the four blurred dots you can see just just after the tech after the text is are actually links to different parts of my website and they're all blurred so let's go to the wordpress site uh, and you can see here It is going to take a moment and again this is how it looks the background is kind of blurry uh, all the ads are blurred out uh, and a lot of people would actually like that but this is what it ends up looking and you can go ahead and play back videos just as well and i'll show you in a second so this is a particularly good video to try it out on and because it has a fairly moving part you can see my face faces are blurred out and if i hit play it will take a second and it will start playing or maybe i should do it on youtube because it doesn't seem to work here for some reason uh, all right so let's go to youtube hmm i misspelled my name Okay. Right here we are with the uh, with my channel, and you can see video playback happening in the background. But uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the video that has a bit more action in it. So let's go to videos, and let's see the one that has a few more moving parts than usual. 
and that's the one I was trying to find so Lima GPU driver uh, demo I think that's an older video so you can see the video playback is fine it does not go into full screen mode and you can actually unmute it I don't know why it's already muted uh, videos on the driver itself and that's in the, the video that's um, but uh, this is the first bit uh, and today I am going to show and that's kind of working and maybe I can move it forward or backward or not at all there it is so the yeah, video playback works okay I mean it's it's an interesting thing they got that to work as well in a text based browser browser that's the main point uh, so all the text on all the HTML and whatever text elements are there are very sharp because they are rendered as text everything else every other graphics and everything is actually rendered as an image so that might or might not be as sharp so yes a very interesting project um, works fairly well and it's just that retro look that uh, kind of makes you very interested in this so again thank you so much for watching go ahead and check out the brow.sh website for more information on this and if you want to try it out yourself uh, it's i think available in mac windows and linux so you're not only limited to linux and uses uh firefox mozilla firefox backend to do all the um css stuff i think and all the website rendering and then that converts it into its own, own text-based thing here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.